Well, Happy New Year, everybody. It's 2016, and today is our very first Friday Focus of the year. And I wanted to talk to all of our patients and our clients uh, about something that I believe is very important that I teach to my family, I teach to my staff, and it's really what we call our most precious resource. Now, if I were to ask you, what is your most precious resource? You might say to me something like, well, you know, maybe it's money or maybe it's family, but none of these things are really precious without this one thing. And that is time, how you manage your time, what you do with your time. It truly is the most important thing in our lives because family, it's, you know what I mean? It's not just about having family members. It's the time we spend with our family members. We just finished up the holidays. Did you spend quality time or are you just with people? That sort of thing. Uh, it's not money because money, some of the most miserable people in the whole wide world have lots of money. There was a TV show on cable not too long ago that was called The Lottery, ready? The Lottery Ruined My Life. Uh, and it was all about how poor people won the lottery and because their habits were so bad, they became even more poor than they were prior to actually winning the lottery. So it's not money, it's not your home, it's not your car, it's time. And it's what you do with your time. And time is something that we spend a lot of effort on in our company. And when people ask me about how we built this company, whether it's other doctors or even patients who own their own businesses, I try and go back to some of the core principles that we use in our, in our company here. And all of it surrounds time and how we use our time. So time is something that you want to be very intentional with. And one of the things that I get a lot of resistance with in some cases is, you know, people will say, well, you don't understand my situation or, you know, you might have it great or something like that. But the truth is um, I went through a very normal life just like everybody else, but I use my time a little bit differently. Uh, so I intentionally plan my, my years out. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk a little bit about how you can make 2016 your best year ever. So over here we have 2016 and then we have an acronym, CANI, C-A-N-I. And CANI stands for Constant and Never Ending Improvement. C-A-N-I, Constant and Never Ending Improvement. So what I want to, my wish for everybody for the Happy New Year is that you come to a decision today maybe that there are certain things in your life that aren't where maybe you want them to be. Maybe it is your finances, maybe it is a relationship, maybe it's your job, it could be anything. But what I want you to understand is that you can make changes intentionally so that the quality of those things improves over time. And that's the key thing here. So we talk about constant and never ending improvement. You wanna come up with categories of things that you wanna improve, your health, your marriage or relationships, your relationship with your kids, um, your relationship with extended family. Uh, it could be hobbies. It can be anything. It could be any interest of you that you really want to maximize. And I will tell you that the more time that you commit intentionally to those things, the greater they will improve. Now, I do a lot of reading. I read a lot about people who um, are achieving incredible things in the world, for charities, whatever it may be. And I find that those people master the idea of time. Now, we all have and this is important, the same amount of time. There's no difference in my day versus Bill Gates' day versus my daughter's, my youngest daughter's day. We all have 24 hours in a day, yet some people, if you think about it, seem to be able to achieve incredible things in that same amount of time where others use maybe excuses or um, they kind of have the woe is me approach. And I want you to understand that I have tremendous sympathy for situations that people are in but in the end, it comes down to what do you really want, what's really important to you, and how much time have you invested in those things. So the three P's is something I wanna discuss with everybody today, and it's how we manage our week. And I'm just gonna bend over here and grab uh, this little prop here. So we had our last staff meeting of the year uh, last week, and I gave everybody in our company one of these month calendars, 12-month uh, calendars, and each page is an entire month with plenty of space to write in all of the things that are important to you. And when we're talking about the three P's of time management, I want you to kind of picture your week and your year. And I will tell you a couple things. Um, it's very important that this year that you really set big goals. Uh, 2016 is a year that if you've never taken the time to set big goals, this is the year to do it. Number two, you have to write them down. So one of the things, the principles that I teach my team is that if you don't write down 
your goals, if you don't actually physically write them down, they're not going to happen. It's almost the like the difference between a plan and a dream. And it turns out that the people that I know that are the best when it comes to their marriages or the best that it comes when it comes to their kids or the most successful in business or the healthiest, the fittest. I mean, the guys that I know that are in the best shape, they intentionally write down their goals and they stick to a plan and it involves the three P's, which is what we're going to talk about now. So set your goals in every area that you can think about. So the first thing is what are the categories that you want? Family, health, spirituality, charity, uh, social life, hobbies, interests, write down all of those categories and within those categories come up with subcategories. So with your family, I have four children. So it's not just good enough for me to have a great marriage. I also want to have a great relationships with each one of my kids. So I have a 20 year old, I have an 18 year old, um, big challenges, right? Uh, I have a 13 year old and I have an 11 year old. And I will tell you that in my experience, uh, as time goes on, it's actually easier to have a more interesting relationship, for example, with my younger one than it is with my older one because I've kind of figured things out. I know how to allocate time to make it a very successful encounter with my daughter, Kelsey. So keeping in mind what those categories are and what you want to achieve in those categories. The next thing is simply plan it out using this method called the three P's. Now, one of the things I want to say right now is that it's never going to be perfect. Okay. It's never perfect. Schedules are designed to be changed and improved upon. But at the very least, when you start the year with a calendar, with goals and with allotting the proper time, you get yourself into it. And what we find is that just, you know, I use the example of just showing up. A lot of times just showing up is enough to win at this kind of game called time management. So what are the three P's and how do you use the three P's to uh, benefit your goals? Right? So the three P's are these, you have planning days, planning, you have production days, production, and then you have personal days, which none of us have enough of, it seems, right? But if you use the three P's, planning, production, and personal, it'll allow you the opportunity to schedule success. And I can go back again and guarantee you, if you use this method, by the end of 2016, you will be astounded at how much you accomplished in all these areas that you're interested in. So what is a planning day? Planning days are days that you use like today. So today is a planning day for you. If you're watching this video, this is a planning day. It's a day where you're setting things up. My experience when I deal with doctors um, is that they don't have enough of these days. Uh, most of the medical doctors or the orthopedists or the dentists that I'm friends with, the chiropractors, uh, the doctors of physical therapy, um, they all kind of go into work and they're just whatever's on the schedule is on the schedule. They don't really plan out their days for success. So this is probably the most neglected day, right? So planning days though, are gonna set up production and personal days, if that makes sense. So the easiest way to fill in your calendar is to start with the days that you already know. So I'm gonna use production days. So for example, if you work Monday through Friday from nine to five, and I know not many people do that anymore, but let's just say that you're back in the eighties and everybody works nine to five, Monday through Friday. Well, it's very easy to write in Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. work. That's your production. Now you have to fit in what? You have to fit in personal and planning days. So you might take Saturday as your planning day for the next week or Sunday after church for the next week. And the planning day is what's gonna set up your week to make sure that you accomplish all of those goals. I also use certain days during the year to plan out quarters. Uh, what I have found over the years is that if you plan out your quarter, meaning the three months that are about to happen, um, then you actually can uh, accelerate your success uh, with bigger goals. So the planning days um, can be a Saturday or a Sunday, um, or they could be part of a day. You know, a lot of people don't have big companies. Um, they have, uh, maybe they don't have big families either. So they don't need as much planning time as somebody, for example, that has like me, four kids, et cetera, et cetera. So you might have a part of a day that's a planning day. So for example, you might use Monday night after work from eight to 10 or eight to nine, and that's your planning day, if that makes sense. Now, production days are the work days and personal days. So what happens to our personal days? Well, personal days aren't always just about vacation. Sometimes personal days are about doing things for growth, uh, going on a retreat, uh, spending some time at a charity. Uh, those are things that you choose to do with your own time 
that allow you to feel better about who you are, that allow you to kind of unwind, that allow you to recharge your batteries, for example, which is a great example, so that you have even more successful production or planning days. So the calendar should involve all three of these and every single day needs to be marked with one of these three things. It's a very simple uh, tactic that if you use this, I will promise you, you'll have the greatest 2016 ever. Now, what are we finding with patients? Let's talk a little bit about your health. Um, it's kind of interesting that whenever I meet with a patient, a new patient, and they're telling me about whatever their health history is, I kind of find out that I've never met anybody who's ever said, I wish I waited longer to take care of a health problem. Does that make sense? So it's, you know, it's the person who goes into the dentist and their jaw is swollen out to here and they're like, well, it started actually bothering me a year and a half ago, but it wasn't bad enough. And so health is something that you can plan. Uh, what we find is our most successful patients are really sticklers about their planning days so that they make sure they come in for their treatments that they need. Um, it's the same thing with other health things, whether it's exercise or going to your medical doctor and not putting that off. Um, whether it's going to your dermatologist and have a preventative screening to make sure you don't have skin cancer or things of that nature. These all revolve around time management. And I will tell you that if you leave it up to chance that you will find a lot of failure in those areas. The people that just wing it, as we call it, those people don't really see a lot of success in their lives in the areas that they wing it. So you wanna be intentional. I want you to write down that word, if you don't mind, write down the word intentional about your time. Don't waste time. Don't waste time with activities that aren't useful or productive. Don't waste time with people, people that, that are, you know, maybe they distract you or they're very negative all the time. I would tell you that the more of those things you push away, the bad things, the wasted time, the more of these things you can accomplish. And so what is our goal this year? Well, our goal is to constantly and never endingly improve. What do we want to do as a company? By the end of 2016, I'd like to have four or five offices. Right now we're at two and we're in the works of planning out two more offices. Um, I would like to have double the staff. Uh, why? Because I believe that we have the best staff of any doctor's office anywhere, anywhere. And I wanna build a training center so that we can help other doctors train their staff the right way. How do you treat a human being when they walk in your office? Do you treat them like a, a number? Are you, do you turn the cold shoulder to them and say, sign in here? Or is that person that's coming into that office, are they more of a guest? And I kind of like that. I like that idea of a guest. And so we want to create training centers. Um, I want to form a consulting company. So a consulting company, why? Because there is so much mismanagement in doctor's office all over the state of New Jersey, all over the country. And I take calls every week. I get calls or emails from doctors that want our advice. How do you do it here? How can we do that? Well, it's, it's a lot easier to have a consulting company where I can come in with my team and we can say, okay, you know, you need to do this or this or this, than it is to try and answer these questions one off. So those are some of the goals uh, that we have for our company. What are my goals for my personal life? You know, health and fitness is going to be a big priority for me this year. Uh, I've put it on the back burner for many years. It hasn't been on here. I could tell you, right, that it wasn't on here. So when it came to planning, going to the gym was never on my calendar. When it came to production, I never went, so there was no production. So one of those things that I'm going to do in 2016, I just turned 46, is to make sure that I master health. It's a big priority to me. So guess what's going to happen? So if I want to make that happen, what has to happen? Well, the very first thing I need to do is I need to make sure I have my planning day set up and I need to put it on the calendar. And you think about it, what does it take to actually get in great shape? What does it take? It doesn't really take a lot. It takes a little bit of time on a regular basis. So when I create my calendar for 2016, what you're going to see on that is workout, 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 five days a week, no more than an hour. And the other thing that you're gonna see is that I'm gonna be more disciplined with how, what I put into my body. So those are a couple of the key things I wanna be uh, successful at this year. I wanna go to church more. I wanna donate more. I wanna actually tithe more to charity. Those are some of the goals that I have for 2016, but I can promise you, if I just think about them, they're not gonna get done. But if I write them down and I put them on my calendar, the chances are I'm gonna have a much better success rate in all of those areas. Mm -hmm. Lot to go over. This is a big topic. It's a topic that's close to my heart, mm -hmm. something I wanna share with all of my patients. And I also want you to think about it this way. <clears throat> if we don't do this stuff, what's gonna happen? If we don't intentionally plan out our year, we become kind of victims of whatever is going on around us. And I want you to take 2016 and I wanna make it your best year ever. So I wish you all the best. Happy New Year to you and your family, from my family, from my staff. God bless everybody, and I hope you have a great 2016.